All right, what's going on everybody? This is a hype week as far as bass fishing goes. You know, in the bass fishing industry, everything is kind of hype driven. There's a lot of new baits, new rods, new reels, new, new uh, boats, new engines, new line. Everything comes around all the time. All these companies are super innovative and there's two main weeks where everything is kind of released, you know, in the bass fishing industry. Number one being the Bassmaster Classic. I was lucky enough this year to be able to fish my first Bassmaster Classic in Fort Worth in June. Made day three, had a really good time. And now it's the second biggest hype week, maybe even the first biggest hype week, week in all of bass fishing. It is ICAST week. Me and my lovely wife, Hunter, are on the way down to Orlando right now. I've got some sponsors I, I gotta work for. Should be a really good time coming out with new baits. That's one of the things that's the coolest thing to me I'm super blessed, super fortunate to have the sponsors I have. I've got sponsors that I used even before I was on the Elites, being Missile, Spro, Gamakatsu, stuff like that. I've got some of the top tier sponsors like Fuji, Striker, Black Rifle Coffee. It's all, you know, stuff that I'm super fortunate to be able to work with. I've got Sunline. Everything, every company that I work with are super innovative, coming out with new stuff all the time. So it's super exciting for me because the companies I'm at down here actually working for are coming out with a lot of the new stuff. I'm not just gonna have to walk around and see other companies coming out with all kinds of new stuff. But one thing I wanted to say, a little bit of housekeeping. If you have not used it yet, I have a discount code for Black Rifle, capital W, Welcher 15. We'll get you 15% off of your first order it could be, as far as I know, it could be apparel. I know it can be RTDs and your membership and everything. And if you already use my code Welcher15, you can use code BLASTOFF20. It will also get you a discount. But Black Rifle is doing an ultimate outdoor giveaway. If you have not entered into that, go to blackrifle.com. Enter their ultimate outdoor giveaway. It's a huge deal. But we're headed to ICAST now. It's awesome seeing all the new baits and stuff that Spro's coming out with, the new things Sunline's coming out with. Everything is coming out. Missile's got new stuff coming out. Everything is super cool. So we're gonna get down here. Me and Hunter's gonna take the camera, show y'all everything that's new that I'll be using next year, things that I might have already been using a little bit behind the scenes, but should be a good time, a good week. Tons of new stuff, tons of cool stuff. Even my friends from Tournament Tackle and GLL will be down. So it's all gonna be fun. It's all gonna be good. It's gonna be a good week. Get to see all the new stuff and I'm gonna show it to y'all first thing. So it's gonna be a good time. All right, so this is something that's been around for a few years. I've never seen it though. Somehow I've never seen this. It's by Fuji. It's a fishing line threader. So for the older gentleman that's a fisherman that has a hard time seeing and threading through these micro guides, this actually grabs your line on one end and then you thread it through your guide. I have I have never seen this. I did not know this was a this was a thing until right now. So if you're having a hard time seeing how to thread your line, your guides up, that thing right there will grab your line and do it for you. So I'm mostly offset to outside. And it, it's good, like that, that rod right there, a 7.6 will so make you land for a problem, but it's gotta be a real light rod. You can't have a heavy set. Yeah, yeah. You can't throw it all though. No, you can't throw it. Uh, they need the water to be like 80? Is that, is that Yeah, one? yeah, it's just like snook. They can't, they can only go so far north because they can only tolerate water that's so cold. If yeah. it gets too cold, it can kill them off. Yeah. But they've never really tried to get further north than Biscayne. They've been there forever. They and they've can't. never even tried to go further than that. Yeah. Snook keep coming further and further. Yeah, I've noticed it. And they keep, they, they seem to be pushing in more and more freshwater too. Like further and further up the oh, river yeah, and stuff. Yeah. They seem oh, to be going pretty go far. Way up yeah. some of the river down there. You can catch snook 15 miles up Peace River on the west coast. Yeah. Around Port Charlotte. They go way up the river. They ain't stopping. Okay, so everybody that follows my YouTube knows I build my own rods. I've been getting the question so much about exactly which guides I use, and now Fuji and Angler's Resource has come out with the actual guide kits, so you can go on their website now or go, you know, and order the actual entire guide train, everything you need from a stripper to the actual tip, everything comes in one kit, so it's gonna make it a lot easier than having to individually pick which guides you want, so pretty cool. It's gonna make it a lot easier for the guys that, you know, don't know exactly what I use and wanna order all the guides at once. Where, where y'all out of? Athens, Georgia. Okay, okay. We watch a lot of your videos, man. I appreciate that. I'm a thank fan. You. Yeah, I'm a thank fan. you, thank you. I love watching 
fishing shallows. <laughs> it's way more fun, dude. Oh, yeah. Everybody wants to be out there throwing a drop shot and shake your head. That ain't it. That is not fun. Yeah, we fish a lot of Lanier tournaments, so it's like... That's what you got to do. It's yeah. all deep rust piles. Yeah, you can see it. A couple tournaments a year, we get the hammer from shallow, and the rest of the time... It's just like... If you do it on Lanier, you got to catch a shallow Lanier, too? we got to try, you know, because that's yeah. the way we like to do it. But, yeah. Last know. tournament, I fished on Lanier. We caught on shallow. He's trying to make it. He's trying to get his foot. What's his first name? Matt. Matt. He's, he's going to be good. He's going to be good, yeah. He, he's real smart. You can tell he's got leanings yeah. like, like you. Yeah. Like saying, if you go out, you're dedicated. Yeah. He's smart, too. He's trying to get better. He's trying to learn. So, he'll, he'll do good. I hate. I love it when y'all do good, but I hate when you leave the BFL. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good luck, buddy. Thank you. See y'all. Suckers, insane. Exploring, yeah. trying to find the new stuff. This right here is going to be good. So, what? what it, it says the G Power? Uh, four off Gamakatsu EWG double hook with our nano coat finish on yep. it. So it's, made so it's out, got the slippery coating on it. It's like, made out of the tournament grade wire? So it's not tournament grade wire. Okay. Reason why we didn't do tournament grade wire is you have bigger barbs on that. What is the deal with that? Tournament grade wire on the small barbs? You can't put a big barb in there. You just it's, can't? It's a harder material. It's so hard. So, Lake Hartwell Classic, you know, it's a big herring lake. This right here is where we're going to be throwing over the cane piles on, on a Lake Hartwell, trying to catch them big large mouth. This is exactly what a herring looks like, so glad to be able to finally get my hands on this. Tell me to holler at me. Yes, sir. See you, guys. See you man. That's the one. <laughs> I've been catching them on that, but now everybody else can get them. All right, so all the new stuff from iCast right here. This is the new Ike's mini swim jig. Big. 3D eye on there. That's a big deal for me. A lot of people, you know, a lot of swim jig guys. You got to have that big eye on there. Uh, so we made sure we had that on there. And they're color matching due to the skirts. Ten different colors. They're going to come in three different sizes. Going to have three sixteenths, five sixteenths, and seven sixteenths, depending on how deep you want to fish it. VMC hook in there vertical line tie as most swim jigs have. Uh, they fish a little bit better that way. It's got the big spike barb keeper on the back if you can see that there uh, so they're gonna be these are gonna be available like in October time frame retail is gonna be like uh, 549 but then available a little sooner is the missile mini D chunk it's got these uh, little flappers on the back they kick real hard and uh, there's gonna be five of those in a pack for 399 10 different colors available this is uh, black neon right there bammer craw right there we're gonna have the uh, bombshell is right there so we're gonna have some shad colors some natural colors and some darker ones and I, d I know I gave them to my man over here to fish with on his his signature jig yeah so y'all been seeing those for probably I guess a month month and a half now and a lot of people have been popping up in the comments and the questions talking about what exact chunk I've had We've been trying to just use whatever colors we can get, but now we've got the official good colors coming out. We can color coordinate them a little bit better, but they've been eating them even though I've been just hodgepodging around. Been super excited with it, and now everybody else is gonna get to get them. The That's missile right. mini D-chunk. 
it's perfect for my signature jig, perfect for the jigs that John and Ike's coming out with. So it's pretty cool, pretty cool deal coming out. Yeah, that's what we do. We I mean, and that, that's just stuff that, that I fish with, like that I know we fish with. And that's that's kind of what Missile does. We just, we try to bring out the stuff that you actually fish with. Like we're not into gimmicks, we're not into BS, we're not in trying to win awards for something that looks exactly like a frog at, at ICAST. Like that's not what motivates us. What motivates me is going to like gas stations and having some dude roll up to me and go, dude, I just caught a seven on your D-bomb yeah. yesterday in this pond over here. And then they whoop out their phone, they're like, oh, there it is. So you know they're not BSing. Like that's, that's what gets me going and keeps me wanting to design a new bait that dudes are actually yeah. gonna fish with. This is also the type of chunk that it's not like a one-dimensional deal. It's not like you, you don't need to be pre-spawn on Santee to catch them on this. Right, right. You don't. You don't have to be, you know, fishing somewhere where you got giants, but it will catch big ones. This is kind of a leave on the front deck all the time. You can catch a one pounder. You can catch a ten pounder on it. Whatever you put in front of is going to get it to bite. But it's going to generate a ton of bites throughout the course of a year. So it's a really good bait when you're traveling around the country or fishing a lot of different areas. You can have a confidence you're going to catch a lot of fish on it, and you're going to be able to get the bites whenever you need it. So I know it was funny. To, to, uh, I think it's kind of funny to me. But it, the uh, I had like three or four different trailers and chunks that I was using on swim jigs and jigs in general that I was using, and then I got to where I was just modifying D bombs and putting those on my jigs. And so now I don't have to modify any baits, and now I can just take all them other bait, all them other chunks and trailers, and just <laughs> leave them at the house. Yep. And I just got one bag of mini D chunks, and I can just like I'm done with the majority of my of my jig chunk trailers. Done. Yep. It's done. Deal. That's it. That's what it takes. That's what it takes to have a, a brand new bait on the market now. That's it. All right, day one, I cast drawn to a close. Got to hang out with all our buddies at Spro, Missile, Gamakatsu, Fuji, Point Blank. Had a good time. That's it. That's what day one was. Tomorrow we're gonna do a little bit more exploring. Try to come back, talk to some more people. Have a couple more days of down here, seeing what it's all about. I only covered about 30% of what's happening down here. Didn't get to branch out a ton to see a lot of stuff, so tomorrow we'll see the 30 more percent of it. And the third day we'll see the last 30%, so that's the goal. Mm-hmm.